Hello everyone, once again welcome to my OET channel. Today we will have a OET role play section. So we will have one uh, role play card. It is happening in community health center. One patient came to see patient with uh, light chest pain. It's like a mild chest pain and anxiety. And the doctor uh, is um, advising him to have a electrocardiogram to the community health nurse. And we are working in that clinic. And the patient is coming to us for electrocardiogram. Before proceeding to the procedure, this is a just um, like a discussion scenario. We are explaining what is the procedure and uh, what is the benefit of the procedure and how long it will take and patient's uh, anxiety and the reassurance uh, these are the scenario of this uh, role play so we will have uh, the role play uh, sections how we will present the um, I mean how we will present the role play because it is an unknown scenario but the patient came to GP's clinic we are working there but we don't know the patient before so it's like an unknown scenario only but this patient is referred from your GP, I mean where you are working. But we will have a discussion regarding the procedure completely and it will end up with the uh, just before the procedure scenario. Okay, let us see how the role play will go. Firstly, we will see the role play card. Here you can see the settings. It is community health center and the nursing uh, role play uh, there is one paragraph always you have to give more importance for this paragraph so from here you will get exactly the uh, role of a nurse that means your role you can see you see a 50 year old patient who has been referred for an ECG electrocardiogram because of chest pains you explain the procedure to him or her before beginning so how we can start here so this is a unknown scenario you can see the first um, part confirm the reason for patient's visit so when you are reading when you are utilizing the three minute preparation time what you have to do just have a look quick look and you can just underline the important points because in one task you will have more subtask example here you can see that we have totally six uh, a speaking task but inside each task you will have two or more subtask so sometimes Interlocutor may uh, ask you some questions, not in an arranged manner, not in an organized manner. So you will skip some of the subtask. What you can do, just you can uh, underline the main parts, I mean the main topics. Example, confirm. You can just underline confirm reason. Okay, then for ECG. Then uh, when you are start, when you are doing the role play, it will be easy for you to uh, have a quick look and you can explain. So confirm is easy then find out how patient is feeling now chest pains or anxiety etc and whether he has had is easy test before so you can just underline find out then uh, chest pain and anxiety then had is easy before so just in that way then next one explain is easy procedure you can just underline the ECG procedure. That's enough. Then removal of clothing from waist up need to be always uh, need to be lie almost flat. Attachment of electrodes to arms or legs, chest connection to ECG recording machine, printed graph or heart activity. So these everything it will comes under the procedure. Then completion in a few minutes. Okay, that's fine. Then the next one is the request request to resist request to interpret ECG results. Outline results process. That means immediate analysis of graph by doctor, discussion with the patient etc so you can imagine that in that sentence there may be a question from patient so you have to ask question do you have any concern then patient may tell you uh, do after the procedure you will explain me sister like that he may ask you question then you have to tell that uh, no it's from the doctor mm. then uh, reassure patient about ECG mm. uh, painless possibility mm. of um, possibility of site discomfort during removal of electrodes etc so this is regarding the procedure maybe he will ask you some concern about the procedure then you can just underline reassure patient line painless slight discomfort like that then the next one is explain function of ECG uh, so you can just underline the function so you can read it's like continuously then the last one jewelry you can just underline patient wearing jewelry or no last one is the uh, consent so like that you can make a um, underline so that it will be easy for easy for you to have a quick look upon when you are doing the role play so we will start the role play 
firstly we will start with the introduction so we can start this is an unknown case so we can start like good morning i am rashmi rajit one of the registered nurses working in this community health center how may i address you and how can i help you today then the patient will tell uh, good morning sister my name is robert and uh, actually i came here with the chest pain i have mild chest pain so i have seen my gp he told me to come to you for uh, some procedure or something like that it's uh, like is easy or something like that then we can uh, tell out that so the first um, or, uh, the first task is confirm reason for patient visit is eg and find out how patient is feeling now chest pain anxiety and whether he or he, he had is eg test before so the first task we will uh, start like this uh, well mr robert no problem i can do that before proceeding further let me check your name in my system okay fine so your gp has um, advised you for electrocardiogram test isn't it uh, before proceeding to the uh, procedure i would like to ask you some question is it okay for you then he will tell okay fine no problem then we can ask um uh, now uh, how are you feeling now do you have still chest pain and you look so anxious isn't it then he will tell uh, no sister i don't have much pain now the severity has reduced but i am little bit anxiety about my condition then we can ask no need to worry mr robert you are you are here with our safe hands we are here to help you no need to worry about your condition then we can ask um, i would like to ask you whether you had ecg before he will tell no sister it's the first time for me then we can tell uh, well mr robert since it is the first time for you i will explain you the procedure first we need to remove uh, the clothing uh, from waist up and it is essential for you to lie down almost in a flat position we will attach the electrodes to your arms legs and chest then we will connect you with the ecg recording machine then the process will complete within few minute and the printed graph will come outside with that graph we can see the your heart activity and uh, if there is any abnormality i can reassure you that it will not take long time in a few minutes this procedure will finish it off are you getting my point we can ask like that because we are explaining something and we have to get the feedback whether it is clear for them then they will tell uh, i mean the patient will tell yes the state is clear for me then we can tell do you have any concern about your procedure then he may ask you uh, whether sister after the procedure you will interpret my ecg result or whether you can tell me the report we can tell uh, mr robert i am so sorry to tell you that i am not a concerned person to interpret your ecg result but no need to worry after the procedure i will give you the graph you can you can go and meet with your general practitioner of course he will discuss with you regarding the graph and if there is any uh, abnormalities so is it okay for you then the patient will tell oh okay it's fine no problem i will have a, i will have a meeting with i will have a consultation with my gp again then we will ask um, still you have anything to be clarified then he will ask uh, sister whether it is painful procedure because it's the first time for me then we can tell i can truly understand your concern mr robert no need to worry actually this ecg is a painless uh, but there is a possibility of slight discomfort during the removal of electrodes because we will fix these electrodes with some type of gel so it will attach with your uh, skin closely Uh, but don't need to worry this is a light discomfort only it will relieve within few minutes are you okay with that then it will finish the next one explain the function of ecg and then we will tell for you then we can tell for your further information i would tell you something regarding the function of ecg um may I proceed with that like that we can ask and then he will tell of course sister just i i can i can uh, you can i will um i am ready to hear then we can tell Uh, actually this is mandatory for you mr robert because you have chest pain right and it will measure the heart, your heart rate any irregularities and any palpitations so something like that and uh, after this procedure your gp will inform you regarding the if there is any abnormalities and depend upon this result he can uh, take the decision about your further treatment or if there is any other procedure so are you getting my point then it will be clear off then you can tell before proceeding to the procedure i would like to i would like to tell you something mr robert please remove any jewelries or if you have mobile phone with you because it will interfere with the report 
then he will tell no sister i don't have any jewelries and my phone is in a car i didn't bring it here then we can tell oh, oh it's well uh, it's okay fine then at the last we have to ask do you have any other concern uh, they will tell and he will tell no sister i don't have any other concern and then you can tell uh, mr robert i hope i have cleared all your doubts and if nothing is left over may i proceed with your ecg so that is a conclusion here because the next step it is you are going to do the ecg procedure so within that we can uh, wind up the uh, role play so in that way we can uh, do the role play actually it is nothing but with everything will be given in the case not just you have to put something in the starting and you have to close with something in the uh, after the conversation and you have to ask something to the patient so nothing but you are the one leading uh, part and you are the one will start the conversation and you are the one will close the conversation but you have to involve the patient in between and so that's all the thing and if there is some poses no no problem but you should not have a long pose but you can have a short poses it's okay fine and about your um, language or slag or something it's fine no problem anyway we are not the english speakers and we are not native speakers so it's fine it's okay fine what all things you are presenting it should be in a clear way and there should be a, a there should not be much clear there should not be much grammatical mistakes and you can present in a polite manner and of course there should be a reassurance in each and every way i mean it's not it's not mean that every line should be reassurance but throughout the role play you have to give the reassurance uh, even if you are telling something it's like a bad news or it's like something like a um, complicated one like a complication you can tell it's like i'm so sorry to tell you that in that way so everywhere there should be a polite manner and reassurance reassurance should be there so i hope it is clear for you and you can practice in the same way and uh, in my telegram group i have um, uh, posted a mini recent uh, oet role play card so that you can download take a print out and uh, practice in the same way okay thank you we will see you with another one interesting role play until then bye take care